stop the ambient. Hmm? Can you stop the ambient music? Sure. Thank you. Better than just sort of silence. Me when pool. All right, I gotta figure out where exactly to put all of you. Because <laughs> I've got 40 different places that I can pick. Wait, what happened? I completely forgot what happened at the end of the fight last time. Uh, you all fell unconscious. Oh, yes, that was it. <laughs> Very unconscious, me and Liam died. Good times. I forgot that I had roll 20 open, I just hear that music kick in. Owen's Owen, I sent you something on Discord. Hey, Zowen. Yeah? Should I change the uh, main picture of Birdbeard? On the... Uh... No, you don't need to. You <laughs> want a corpse? Who's... Who has something in the background? Because that was very loud. Your mom. Oh. Liam, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uno reverse card. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's exactly that, yeah. I'm pretty sure that sound kicked up when Nate spoke, so it's probably Monica in the background. Oh. No, nah, it was something on my phone. Oh. My mom's at home at the moment. Damn, a cracked mole is pretty good. He's out trying to find a new washer for us because I was broke. Sorry, a mole on crack? What's this about? What? A crack? Oh, crack through a mole. Oh, crack. <laughs> Fuck you, crack through a mole. <laughs> Give us a break. No, us Canadians, we're still in a turkey coma. Fuck yeah, hockey, bud. I find it kind of weird that people have that, like, obsession with stuffing, like... I don't like it's stuffing. It's kind of weird to I, effectively, um, like, I, I it's a dead animal just to friends. ease it. I told one of my American friends that, um, our Thanksgiving was yesterday, and their reaction was, What the fuck? Why is it in October? Because it's <laughs> not snowing out. Also, uh, I don't get what's so good about stuffing. It's just bread with, uh, spices. I honestly just think it kind of tastes shit. Yeah, it does. Depends on how it's cooked. I mean, I, like I'm, it. I'm not particularly great at spices in general. Um, that probably doesn't help. It wouldn't be my first choice to go into the kitchen, but I would eat it if I had, like, nothing else. I'm 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 the kind of person that's like you go to it and you know, I get a fucking call. <laughs> like the mildest possible thing. So if you ever come to Picto County, you're gonna probably wanna stay away from all of the pizza. Really? Yep. Why 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 do people why do people ruin a good thing? That's my question. Like, Sorry, like, what? This is why we can't have nice things. People putting fucking peppers on pizza. Even Zoan will agree with pizza. that. It's wrong. You're Everything wrong. That is wrong. You're. I mean, our pizza sauce more often than not has peppers in it. Why? Because it tastes good. Yeah, but we also no. have pineapple on it too. So you know, I don't. Pineapple, pineapple sucks. Here. Okay, no, pi no pineapple. I pineapple, I can like, I can tolerate that. I can't tolerate the peppers on everything. I hate I that it's cherries. a new thing. I, I hate that people now put uh, kiwis on pizza. Um, they also thing? put cherries. Did, did you guys? You guys know what fairy? You guys know what fairy toast is, right? Yep, yes. It's, it's, yeah. really just, it's it's not fairy toast. It's, fa it's fairy bread, and it's fairy literally bread, yeah. just bread, butter, and sprinkles. Well, sometimes whipped cream on it too. But um, literally, my friend, him and his friends make fairy pizza. So just pizza bread with. 
So what? So like they change the dough or something? Wouldn't that like have a disgusting amount of like sugar and shit in it? Yeah. yeah. It Wouldn't that be basically a beaver tail? It's covered in sprinkles. Of course, you can have ridiculous amount of sugar. For, for me, it's for an some Australian reason, thing. You know those yeah, like one of my Australian friends loves it. Candy pizzas, like. Now, hold on, picture. there it, there is okay. some dessert pizzas that are good. It just makes yeah. me think of that, wait. There are dessert pizzas, it's just that they don't usually use pizza crust. Yeah, There's a picture of fairy that. bread, by the way, in Curse Chat. Does anybody any ch by any chance hear the heartbeat? Yeah. Yep. That's in, that's from the uh, game, World 20. It's these nuts. You should see All a right. doctor if, you're, if your nuts have a heartbeat. <laughs> hey, Keegan, so. send a picture of dessert pizza. The ultimate version of blue balls. Heartbeat. <laughs> ball beat. Sorry, ball the beat. The fuck is ball that? Beat. That's gummy <laughs> pizza. Gummy it? pizza. That's not dessert pizza. Gummy pizza. That's not dessert yeah. pizza. That's just disgusting. I want to. I want to point out that that fairy toast that you're calling it, isn't that just fairy bread? It isn't that just like vanilla dip. The uh, donuts? No, because it uses butter, not not Ugh. whipping or Gross. Not. But it's not. It's not always butter. They put whipped cream on it too. Fairy bread is sliced white bread spread with butter or margarine covered in hundreds of thousands of sprinkles. So it's often thousands. So so Australia basically exactly what Nate said. It's just beaver tails. Yeah, it's just beaver tails. It's just shitty beaver tails because it's not deep fried. Exactly. Everything's better when it's deep fried. Oh, when I said the picture. You'd love it in Scotland. <laughs> so have a big thing of deep frying shit. That's where you get the deep fried mars. In Texas. We start up again this tale, not with all the people that we know, but with what's your last name, Keegan? Uh, I didn't give my character a last name. All right then. With the Vistani traveler Michael. Elena, having spent some time in a local Vistani camp, she one evening was out getting water when she was approached from behind by a figure she didn't recognize. She turned to face him, and the next thing she knew, she awoke sitting at a table in a chamber. What? Got a proof from behind. This is this does not look like my my room. You just got pranked, bro. <laughs> Ape cream. I'm gonna just mute the curse of straw because I, I'm getting distracted by a heartbeat. Just... I'm enjoying my heartbeat last night. Well, the heartbeat I said, of course the you heartbeat... would. You want to go back in the womb? The heartbeat is something that you can hear, like physically hear. Oh. Oh. This got weird quickly. What's exactly a blazing, sound? a blazing hearth fire fills this room with rolling waves of red and amber light. The walls are lined with ancient books and tomes, their leather covers well-oiled and preserved through careful use. All is in order here. The stone floor is concealed underneath a thick, luxurious rug. In the center of the room is a large, low table, waxed and polished to a mirror finish. Even the poker in its stand next to the blazing fireplace is polished. Large, overstuffed divans and couches are arranged about the room. Two chairs of burgundy-colored wood and padded leather seats and black cushions face the hearth. A huge painting hangs over the mantelpiece in a heavy, gilded frame. The rolling firelight illuminates the carefully rendered portrait. What do you do? Do I recognize whoever is in the portrait? You do not. It's Vigo. Uh, it is the. It is the. Uh, it, it's the. It's a painting of a woman with red hair. 
Uh, let me just check my real quick. Would I know anything about it from the uh, researcher back, the researcher part from my sage background? No. All right. Hmm. I wonder where I am. And she's going to uh, walk over to this door and Wait, like. Did you say she's it. tied to the? Oh, did you say no, I was tied she was to sitting it? in the chair. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Wait, I guess is there a piece of paper on the table right here? No, it's like a little candle or something. Oh, okay. I'm going to like peek through the door, try just in case. The door is locked. There. Oh, uh, I will go and check all the doors to see if any of them are unlocked. Uh, that top corner one is unlocked. This one? Yep. Uh, then I'm going to uh, slightly peek through it to see if I can see if anybody's in there. Uh, you don't see any people, but you do see a stairwell heading downward. Hmm. And I'm going to try to stealthily walk down there, so I'm going to quickly roll a stealth check. Uh, where's... There is stealth. Not bad. Okay. And she's going to start going down the stairwell. Okay. The whole way down? Uh, yep, being cautious of any traps or anything. All right. Uh, you begin making your way down the stairwell. Which will... Give me a second, I'm going to... Apparently, I don't have your token set on your character sheet. Hmm? I don't have your token set on your character sheet, so I can't drag and drop you. Just give me a second. Oh, okay. I'll see. Okay. Yeah, let's fix it. Uh, also, as you head down the floor, the heartbeat gets quieter. I would be, well, while I was up there, would I have been able to tell what direction the heartbeat was coming from? It seemed to be coming from above you. Hmm. Is there any doorways here or anything that I can see? No, there's more stairwell that continues downward. Oh, then she's going to continue to go down the stairwell. Okay. It's a very large stairwell. I'm how zoomed in it is. You are still in the stairwell. Damn, oh, really big stairwell. Um, I guess then. Can I check to see if there's like hidden doors or anything here? You can roll investigation if you want. Yeah. Twenty-three. Uh, you don't seem to find anything. Uh, okay then, I. Guess I continue going down. Okay. You continue going down. I think I know where you're at, and this is awesome. I'm assuming I'm in like Strahd's castle or something. Okay, it feels like there's a secret door like right there or something. Can I roll another investigation to see if there's anything here? Go for it. 18. You don't seem to find any hidden doors. Okay. I guess I'll go down the other staircase. <laughs> there's right. only one locked door. There's very limited options I can do.
is the heartbeat getting quieter? Yeah, you yes. said that it was getting quieter. You said it would sound like it was coming from above me, but I, this was the only unlocked door. This is cool. This is how the you, kids was. I think he just keeps turning down the volume on it. Um, okay, I'm gonna, can I try to stealthily look through this door? Sure. Give me another stealth roll. Yep. Uh, there we go. Fuck. Well, you look through the door. Uh, it creaks quite loudly as you poke your head through. Uh, you'd see a square room with a brazier in the middle, as well as two large statues off to each side. Hmm. Would I know any of the architecture? Like, anywhere it could possibly be in the area? I don't think so, no. Alright. Uh, I'm going to go and try to check out the statue. Uh, give me a second, I'll read something. This room is 30 feet square, rising to a 20-foot tall flat ceiling. A stone brazier burns fiercely in the center of the room, but its tall white flames produce no heat. The rim of the brazier is carved with seven cup-shaped indentations spaced evenly around the circumference. Within, in, within each indentation is a spherical stone twice the diameter of a human eyeball and made of a colored crystal. No two stones are the same color. Overhead, a wood-framed hourglass, as tall and wide as a dwarf, hangs ten feet high above the brazier. Suspended from the ceiling by thick iron chains, all the sand is stuck in the upper portion of the hourglass, seemingly unable to run to the bottom. Written in glowing script on the base of the hourglass is a verse in common. Two nine-foot-tall iron statues of knights on horseback, poised to charge, with swords drawn, stand in deep alcoves facing each other. What does the text say? The writing at the base... reads cast a stone into the fire violet leads to the mountain spire orange to the castle's peak red if lore is what you seek green to where the coffins hide indigo to the master's bride blue to ancient magic's womb yellow to the master's tomb would you be able to post the the, the thing into the chat Give me a second. Okay. I'd laugh if he can start being smart and using a journal. You're, you're saying that like I don't have a journal. What happens if I give me a sec? Uh what happens if I pick up the violet stone? Uh when you pick it up, nothing happens. Okay, I'm going to throw it into the fire. You throw it into the fire. I have a thing I know I to get. What 
What, what color did you throw in? Sorry. Violet. Uh, you throw the violet stone into the fire, and uh, the flame changes to a bright violet. And uh, the sand in the hourglass begins to fall. Okay. I'm going to throw the orange one in. Uh... I'm hoping that I'm getting this right and it's the exact aura you need to throw it in. You throw the orange one in. Or... Yeah, okay. Uh, it remains violet. Hmm. And the sand is still counting down. The red one? It continues to stay... I don't think it's about an order. I think it's teleporting. Hmm. I feel like when that thing hits the gra the bottom of the hourglass, I'm going to die. Um, do any of the doors in this room open? No. I mean, the door that you came through is still ajar. Yeah. You can always try stepping into the fire. Step in the fire. Sure, I guess I'll touch the fire. You touch the fire? Yeah. Okay. Uh... You just touch it with your hand? I mean, I guess I'll poke it with my sword first. You don't explicitly step into the fire. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. Is the fire hot now or anything? Nope. Okay, I guess I'll touch it with my hand. You touch it with your hand, and, uh... You are teleported away! I fucking called it. You did call it. I wouldn't I wouldn't consider that a good thing, guys. Oh I didn't say it was a good thing. Oh yeah, I no, I called it. I was pretty sure it's the worst. I guess I'm going to a mountain spire. Oh, I should have put the red one in then. I feel like so I feel like I'd be, be teleported like a to like in front of a beholder or something if I did that. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> you just slowly fight a beholder. Okay, so, uh, Keegan, I hope you prep, uh, Keegan. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make you a backup sheet, because that's probably gonna be necessary, God. because you managed to put yourself up on Mount Selenka. Uh, and you don't have cold weather gear. Um, I'm interested. Um. When that time ran out, it was just gonna reset the fire, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Then, actually, then I'm going to go into my ring. Then I'm going to go into the, the bottled respite, then, if I can go to wait for it out. I am in a room that is the perfect temperature. How long can you stay in there for? Uh, 10,000 years! <laughs> he stays up there forever. We never see him again. Uh, the interior is a cushion. Uh... You can remain inside the vessel for a number of hours equal to twice your proficiency bonus. So I can stay in there for six hours. Okay. You can stay in your bottle for six hours then. I oh, guess we'll... Right, yeah. I guess we'll... Uh, start up with the party then. <laughs> Since nobody's come to, f nobody's gonna be finding them. Fucking Keegan. <laughs> but hey, that is vastly funnier to me. Oh yeah, let's mess with the magical thing while I'm all alone. Uh, um, <laughs> you might not want to choose me next then because I will do the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was thinking, I, it's not like I'm the only one who would do this. Just, just, all right. just, just... Just okay. Question, this is a new character for Keegan, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering why you weren't using your alpha form and just flying the hell down the mountain. Because he's because dead. Remember, he died. Nate wasn't here. Nate had to leave early. Oh right. Yeah. Um, everybody. Me and Liam died. Everybody. Yeah. Two two people died, and everybody else is unconscious. Was was unconscious. Uh. I want Nate. Uh. Nate, roll a d4. What? 
I said a D4. Not a D20. Okay. Uh, dog, roll a D4. I shall, good sir. <laughs> okay. And Jory, roll a D4. I don't think I'm going to beat that. Okay. Uh, it just means the dog wakes up first. Oh. Oh, actually, that, yeah, that makes more. Leave it to Keegan to kill himself. My my brain for like for order over um time asleep for some reason. Oh, dog. Um. Yes, so. You wake up Ooh. in a completely dark enclosed chamber. What kind of yee you bullshit is this? What? What? So it's, it's pitch black. I can't wait. Wait a second. You're a human, yeah? You're very inhuman or something? I. You're, you're some kind of human. I believe I am. So you don't have dark vision. So yeah, you're completely blind. I was you have hoping. Torches? I was hoping Evil Eye might have might have given me some help for that, but apparently not. Um, I have an explorer's pack which I believe have torches on it. That does it? Check it. It's your pack. It's your inventory. Yeah, but I have everything that's like in the pack. Um, in my you have ten torches. And a tinder box. Uh, can I use the tinder box to, uh, like, one of the torches? Use that one. Sure. Is that like a D20 roll? No. You just light it. Oh. So um, I don't you need find to find yourself. You see, he didn't say anything, so I assumed. Uh, you find you are in a tiny little chamber, uh, the walls of which are all painted to depict mountains of gold coin. Uh, there is a big marble slab uh, door on one side. And there is a slab of marble that you were laid on. It appears to be some kind of crypt. Okay. Um, so there's what, one way out? There's yeah, nothing else big... in here? Nope. Okay, I'll just, I'll go to the door. Okay. It's a big slab of marble. I'll, I'll... I guess I need to do a strength check. Yeah. Uh, that's not good. Oh. Yeah. You're correct. It doesn't go well. I guess you're stuck in here for eternity as well. I mean, it makes sense that he's having some trouble considering how, you know, rough a shape he's in. Yeah. I have I have a minus two to strength. Well, I was more more so pointing out the one hit point. Oh yeah. You just woke <laughs> up from unconsciousness. You didn't get healed or anything, and you didn't have a rest. Um. I mean, I mean my only my only real option here is to just sort of sit down and rest. Really, isn't it? I mean, it's an option, yeah. I mean, whatever option I have, I, I, I can try and push the door again, I guess. But probably... Oh? Okay, yeah. You yeah, well, push I'll it open. Uh, you have a torch, correct? Yeah. That's your light source? Just give me a second, I'm gonna... I swear to God, if you put me in front of, like, a mini boss, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna. Why is it giving me? There we go. All right, aura.
Perfect. Only you can see that. That's your range for your torch. So I'm gonna... Oh, okay. Oh, I am. Cool. Oh, wow, that is a small spot. Uh... So I can only see within the range of my torch. Correct. Which is the green one. There's a pillar around me, I'm guessing? Uh, those are other crypts. Oh, those are other crypts. Okay. I have to go to the washroom, I'll be right back. Go for it. You have the beep beep. Oh, it's yellow as well. Okay, I see. So, like, green is, like, immediate light, and yellow is, like, dim light, right? That's how it works. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I don't see many immediate doorways, but I'm not sure if that's just... There's a door right below you. Oh, yeah, but into another crypt. Oh, yeah. Didn't have for a way out. No, it's probably just another room. That's my point. Likely is. Yes, that's why I... No, I, I meant like another small room with no way out. Yeah. Yeah, which would be pointless to go into. Well, you didn't ask for that. You just said there's no door. I meant no useful door. Oh, since we're back to purple, I'm gonna. Oh, I can hear my heartbeat. You can hear a heartbeat uh, coming from the west of you. Someone will flip a coin for me. Do I do something stupid and look for the heartbeat? There's your coin. You got two. Yeah, fuck it. Going this way now. Okay. Is it still west of me? Uh, kinda. Yeah, like west northwest. Up so this way. Uh, right around that corner is a uh, stairwell leading upward, where you hear the, her the the beating from. So, upwards is where I hear the beat. Yeah. I shall go upward. Oh my god. Okay. You're going up, all alone. <laughs> We're gonna need a new Timmy. Man, you're uh... I flipped, You're not I flipped, very smart. I flipped a coin on it, and that's what I got. Well, I mean, I mean, you woke up alone in a crypt, surrounded by a bunch of other crypts. I, I mean, I, I, this but is you the, went unconscious with a bunch of friends. I mean, arguably, this is the only way I can see if that goes like anywhere other than inside the crypt. So I assume that's the only way out. Oh my god! That's the first way out I, I mean, see, and that's the only way out I see. Okay. At least, at least I have the excuse of I don't know where I am. Let's try to find an exit. Yeah, that's my exact same excuse. So, are you, you ready to build a new character, here. Lloyd Dog? Lloyd Dog, ready for a new character already? <laughs> Listen, Keegan, tell me where you can see another stairway. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the question. It, the question is, what about your allies? Yeah, I don't, I don't know where they are. They could be fucking anywhere. I mean, we did bury him once, so... He has good reason to leave us. They, they, they could have just left me here, for all I know. Again. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going now. Okay. 
Does the noise continue getting louder as I go further up? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of enjoy doing stupid shit. <laughs> Just occasionally. Give me a minute. Okay. I'm doing revealing stuff. Sorry. around this corner uh, a big room I wish to see big uh, give me a moment by the way is the yeah. noise still above entering me? the big room is the noise still above oh. me by the way just a check yes yeah, cool. Don't do anything yet. Dim colored light filters through tall, broken, and boarded up windows of stained glass, illuminating the ancient chapel of Ravenloft. A few bats flutter about near the top of the 90 foot high domed ceiling. A balcony runs the length of the west wall, 50 feet above the floor. In the center of the balcony, two dark shapes are slumped in tall chairs. Benches, coated with centuries of dust, lie about the floor in jumbled disarray. Beyond the debris, lit by a piercing shaft of light, an altar stands upon a stone platform. The sides of the altar are carved with bas reliefs of, ange of angelic figures entwined with grapevines. The light from above falls directly on a silver statuette. A cloaked figure is draped over the altar, and a black mace lies on the floor near its feet. Is it clearly breathing? Or is it clearly alive? Uh, you can't tell from where you were standing. Um, I don't recognize the cloak at all. Nope. It's just a black cloak. One second. Okay. I'm back. I'm, I'm gonna move up to him. Okay. Uh, can I, like, touch, touch him on the back or, like, roll him over? Uh, as you get closer, you can tell that it's not alive. Can I search him, see if I can tell you it was, or...? Uh, I mean, you can give it a look. Yeah. Sure. Make an investigation check. Okay, one second. Not sure that's right for me. Uh, you can't really tell anything about the body. 
Uh, aside from that, it's in a black cloak. There's a mace nearby. Uh, in its hand is uh, well, its 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 hand is like resting on the little silver statuette that's there. Yeah. That's it. Uh, can I pick up the little statuette, please? Sure. What's your alignment? It is uh, it took neutral. Okay. Uh, you pick up the statuette. No problem. Okay. Can I attune to it? That would take you an hour. I'm, I'm not going to now, but is it like something you can attune to? Mm, you can try. So is it okay? I'm I'm, I'm not going to bother wasting the hour right now uh, to do that. Yeah, no shit. You're not in exactly the best place to do any kind of attunement. No. Uh, what's around this corner? Uh, like that. And stairwell going what looks to be upward. Uh, I'll go round and up. Okay. You go round and up. Not a very smart fellow. <laughs> That's mean. Well, I mean, it's not inaccurate though. <laughs> I, I didn't know this place. Your first instinct is to explore this random spooky dungeon instead of like hanging out somewhere you think is safe and healing up or anything of the sort. <laughs> Oh, so don't give him a break. He's following her heart. I haven't found somewhere safe. She's following luck because he rolled a coin for this. I have rolled a coin for pretty much every move I've Flip made so far. Sorry. Give me a moment to do some more polygon reveals. I, I believe in the heart of the coin. I assume you're probably going to move up and, and look into the area ahead of you? Yeah, that is the plan. Alright. I'd like to open this door. Okay, you'd like to open that door. There's a long hallway. I will continue through the hallway and open up the next door. Okay, you open up the next door. Uh, don't go in yet. Oh, sorry. I said don't go in yet. I didn't go in. You did. <laughs> yeah, I did, and then I didn't. Then you said that, and I moved back out. And your token wasn't moved out for me. Not on my screen. It's moved out on my screen. I don't want to stream, it's outside. Yeah, it's over me as well. Roll 20 like. Oh, the skeleton. Oh, it's two skeletons. <laughs> The door is open to reveal another set of double doors ten feet ahead. Between these doors, a ten-foot-wide corridor stretches north and south. At the end of each hall, floating in the darkness, is a human skeleton clad in the rusted armor and tattered livery of a castle guard. Are they moving? They're not. Uh, oh, I'm gonna step in. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I thought was going to happen. 
Don't you have you like hope one health? One dungeon. Yeah, oh, great. One hit point. And I've also have no key points. At least I had full hit points when I got when I went to do stupid shit. Do you do know the word run, right? Keegan, flip a coin. <laughs> okay. Who, who asked him to flip a coin? The one. To see if you stay or run. Oh, no, no, no. I, I know exactly what I'm doing. I have a great idea. Trust me. Teleport. <laughs> Don't forget that my movement speed is also very high. What's your movement right. speed? Well. <laughs> it's uh, 45. What are oh, you doing, Purple? Five feet higher than mine. I'm gonna move forward and open the door. <laughs> okay, you move forward and open the door. Uh, give me a moment. This is a, another big room. Okay, I'm assuming opening a door isn't an action. Is it an action, sorry? Yes, it is. Oh, is it an action? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't sprint and open the door. Dim light from the courtyard falls into this great hall through the, blo uh, through the broken glass and iron lattice work of a large window in the west wall. This immense room is a place of chilly, brooding darkness. Empty iron sconces dot the walls. Hundreds of dust-laden cobwebs drape the hall, hiding the ceiling from view. Directly across from the window stands a set of double doors in the east wall. Farther south, a single door also leads from the east wall. Staircases at both ends of the north wall lead down. At the far southern end of the hall, a large wooden throne stands atop a marble dais. The high-backed throne faces south, away from most of the room. Interesting. Where's the heartbeat coming from now? Is it still above me? Yep. Okay. That's interesting. Um... Like two floors above you, I think. I don't know if I sort of go back, or if I can tr try and continue, and just fucking sprint. I can't, I, I want to try, actually, I want to try something, just because I'm curious. Move up to here. You move up to there. Okay. You move up to there. Uh. Oh wait. I'm. I'm gonna. <laughs> Is there anything in in the uh, throne? No, the throne is empty. I would like to sit in that. Okay. Does anything happen? I'm sitting in an empty throne. Does Nothing anything... happens. No? Oh, okay. Suddenly you spontaneously combust. I, I, I assume that might happen, that's why I asked. Um. Hmm. You assume that, yet you still sat in the throne. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more interesting. Uh. This place is big and confusing. Can I try this door, please? Sure. Uh, you open that door. There's a man. Hello. Give me a moment. Dusty scrolls and tomes line the walls of this room. More scrolls and books lie scattered on the floor around four heavy wooden chests filled, fitted with study or sturdy iron locks the only unobstructed floor space is directly in front of the doors on the east and west walls in the center of this clutter stands a great black desk a figure crouches atop a, a tall stool scratching on a seemingly endless scroll of paper with a dry quill pen nearby a tasseled rope hangs from a hole in the ceiling
Does he notice me as I walk in? Uh, he looks up and he says, Watch your footing, please. Do not step on the papers. I apologize. I'll be careful. I assume you're one of the guests of the master. Hmm? Uh, I'm not sure what you're doing all the way up here. Do it. Uh, where does that uh, rope in the ceiling go? Into a bell. Okay. Can I climb up the bell? It's a little tiny rope that goes up to the... It's not, not something you can climb. Oh, okay. It's like a little handbell kind of thing. Uh, I'll go to the other end of the room and try and open that one up. Okay, you open that one up. It's a little stairwell. Is it going up or down? Both. I'm gonna go up. Okay. You go up. I'm sorry, I'm back. I was, th I, I like throwing up. Okay. Uh, you reach another landing, it continues upwards, and there's a door. Where's the heartbeat coming from? Is it still upward? Yep. I'm going to continue up. Okay, you continue upward again. I'd like to open that door. Okay, you step right there. How much do you weigh? Uh, let me check. I think I specifically have an amount in there. I'm apparently 110 uh, pounds. I'll be. Is that your character weight? Oh, that's my character weight, yes, but I don't really have a lot of, like, heavy stuff on me. I've only got, like, common clothes. I want to know your full weight. Uh, 115, I guess, probably. Like, I don't have a huge amount on me. I only have, like, a pack, full staff, and common clothes. Okay. So you weigh 115 pounds? Yeah, that's probably something like that, maybe 120 around that area. Pretty, uh, pretty light. I don't have much on me and I'm like an average weight. All right, well, first off, you step here. All right. Okay. And, uh... Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it easy on you for a second. You get 
So I'm going to read the thing before you move anywhere. You come to a dark landing 10 feet wide and 20 feet long. A cold draft of wind rushes down the spiral staircase at the north end of the east hall of the east wall and whistles mournfully through the room before streaming down the stairs to the south. An ornate square rug covers the floor to the south. Set into the west wall is an iron-bound wooden door with a wooden trap door set into the floor in front of it. Hanging on the north wall, above the trap door, is a framed portrait of a handsome, well-dressed man with a serene yet penetrating gaze. And I think I have a handout for the portrait. The same one, not a rogue. Oh. <laughs> okay. So there's a trap door there in front of that double door. There's a rug there, and on the wall there is a uh, there's a portrait. Okay. Can I attempt to jump past the rug and like sort of just between like the rug and the trap door without like standing on either? That makes sense. No. Why? Because it doesn't make sense. Why? Why not? Are, are they like where the rug ends? The um. Yes. Okay. <sighs> um. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Also, because you're going higher. That is getting very loud. Uh, can I... Wait, uh, if I look around the corner, um, is that staircase going up or down? Up. Okay. And the, uh, heartbeat is still above me. Yes. Can I attempt it's to sort close, though. Can I attempt to sort of like put my hands on the wall and sort of shift myself across, like sort of jumping over the trap door area? Sure. I can give me an acrobatics check. Sure. Haha, little did, little did you know my acrobatics. Fuck's sake. Of course I roll a 5. And it would be a 12 or higher. Oh, thank God. That's fine. You can make it around. Cool. You like. Avoid yeah. touching the ground there. Yeah. I, I had a feeling that I was like the carpet was going to cause something and the trap door was going to cause something, so I had to avoid it. And I'm going to continue up the stairs. Okay, you continue up the stairs. This is a long wait for a death, you know. <laughs> Making me work for it. Uh, you come to more stairwell. It continues upward, and there is also a door. And the heartbeat still above me. Kinda, yeah. You got not up. much. You don't think? Okay. You go up further. Give me a moment. It's got to be on this next floor then.
it's on this floor, right? Like, it sounds like it's on the same level as me. Guessing. Welcome yeah. to the boss chamber. Uh, give me a moment, I'm gonna... I gotta read some stuff and... Actually, how about I do this real quick? Move you down there. Holy crap, I'm not feeling good. Why is that? I don't know, it just just hit me. I I had to run you know, like get sick I got sick. Um, and now I'm all shaky. I could've given you what I could have given you what I had. I haven't been feeling good for the last few days. You Tell me your symptoms. What Rory has what? the corona. No. Yes. No, I got tasted and I'm fully vaccinated. Alright. I mean, that only lowers your chance of getting it. He has beer in the fridge. <laughs> what? Corona. It's a beer. Oh, honey. I don't drink corona, that's gross. I, yeah, I would have felt bad for you if you did. As a fit, I wouldn't wish on anyone. Oh, right, um, so it's on the same level as me, right? The heartbeat. Hmm. But is, but... It's, it's but, coming from somewhere. Like, what direction? There's only one direction you can go from now. North, and I, I assume. Yeah. In that room. Give me a moment, I'm gonna read something. What the fuck? What in God's name is that thing? Oh, it looks like a purple blob. But what? That doesn't tell me any information. <laughs> Think of the context it's, clues real quick. It's big and purple. As you step into the spiral staircase, a reddish light flares overhead and settles to a dull, pulsing red glow. You, you now see the full immensity of this tower. The spiral staircase circles up the tower's full height. The tower, 60 feet wide at its base, becomes narrower as it climbs. At the pinnacle of the hollow tower, a large crystal heart pulsates with red light. Above the heart, the stairs continue upward. That's kind of freaky.
Hmm. When you say you like, is is the purple heart like floating in the middle, kind? Of? Yeah, and it's pulsing. Okay. Uh, how how far from the like edge is it? I mean, you can see about ten, fifteen feet. Shame. Because I think I only have ten. Oh, wait, no, that's only if I'm. Uh. I guess I'll. I'll go up and sit up here. Okay, you continue upward. I don't really think there's much I can do with that. I haven't got any, like, ranged weapons. This is the top of the tower. Yeah. Give me a moment. Uh, the stairs end at a dark and dreary room with manacles attached to the wall. In the middle of the room is a wood frame bed fitted with leather restraints. At the foot of the bed rests okay. a closed iron chest, its lid sculpted with an emblem. A wooden ladder leads up to a trapdoor in the ceiling. Thin streams of water drip through the trapdoor's rotting wood, forming a puddle around the base of the ladder. I would like to go up to the kinky bed. Okay. And there's no one in it, I'm guessing, right? Nope. Can I try and open the chest? Uh, the chest is locked. Um, I'm gonna try and break the lock. Uh, you can try and pick the lock. I mean, I don't have pick. Okay. Make a dexterity check and see. Okay. You don't need tools, they just add to proficiency and stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, dex check. Uh, yeah, sure. Weird. You pick the lock. Uh, inside the chest, uh, you find a crown resting on a silk pillow. Oh, can I pick up the crown? Sure. It's a it is a bejeweled golden crown. Can I try putting it on? If you want to, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on. Okay, you're wearing it. It is a bejeweled gold crown. Uh, can I go up to the top of a ladder and like sure. go through the trapdoor? Go for it. Uh, uh, where's... I can't actually see it with all the like yellow. I'm not gonna lie. Is it, is it there? Sure. Go. A, go a cold wind greets you atop the tower roof. It's terrain slicked flagstones surrounded by a 20 foot diameter ring of stone battlements. The thunderclouds above suddenly coalesce into the terrible visage of Strahd. Oh. The face utters a ghastly moan as thousands of bats fly out of its gaping maw and descend upon the tower. Um, I, I guess I'll go back down. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, the top of this tower isn't a good spot to really stop, is it? I don't know. 
Not a short rest kind of time, kind of place. I mean, you want to take a short rest here? Sure, go for it. Okay. Uh, how long are short rests again? One hour. Can I take the time to attune to the attempt to attune to one of the items? Sure. Uh, what was it? A crown and a. What was the other thing I picked up? Statuette. Statuette. Uh, can I attempt to uh, tune to the crown? Sure. Oh. You can find a spot, settle down, and do that. Uh, roll your hit die and shit. Okay. And I'm going to leave you there. As you have been wandering around, you didn't think to search for your party members. What's that for? Using up all of them, huh? Yep, I also get all my key points back. Because that's a short or long rest. Uh, it's a black room at the moment. I didn't even get back up to full health by the way zone. Well, Jory and Nate, you both rolled a two, meaning you wake up an hour later, which I'm going to say it's during the midst of Dog's dumb adventure. Uh, I don't think other of you have a uh, dark vision, do you? Nope, I don't. Jory? I have something better. Is Jory gone again? Uh, he might be throwing up again. Alright. Then I will, uh... Uh, was also... I supposed to roll one too? I was kind of hmm? paying attention. Nope. Was I supposed to roll one too? Okay. Nope. Uh, although I will wake you up too. Why not? Uh... Although, with dark vision, you can see Liam. Huzzah! Uh, so, Liam, you wake up in... Liam of vision. Another small little room. Oh, yay. Just like the good old times. You like your small little uh, rooms, don't you? You wake what? in a... Uh, oh. Liam, your character, you awake in a in a room. You are laying on a marble slab uh, with rags and jewelry you don't recognize on you. Leaning against the slab is a mall uh, covered in cobwebs and stained in blood. Uh, and, uh, yeah. You're in, like, armor you don't recognize. You have no idea where you are. The last thing you remember is a big root crushing you. And suddenly you're in this room. You don't know where you are. Man, what did I have to drink last night? Looks at my hands. Uh, 
Are my hands skeletal, by the way? Your hands are very skeletal. Ah, uh, he's gonna start screaming because he just discovered he has skeletal hands. Okay. Uh, Nate, you also wake in a chamber. Okay, so I'm guessing it's pitch black, correct? Correct. I'm just gonna feel around on the floor. Do I feel uh, like any pebbles, rocked, or anything like that? Uh, no. If you're trying to cast light on something, you can just cast it on your own weapon or armor. For some reason. Yeah, I know, but I didn't want to have to take something out home completely. Alright, I'll take a bolt, a crossbow bolt out and cast light. Okay. For some reason, my mention of skeletal hands made me think of ones of what's up. Uh, you can see you are in a chamber. Uh, this crypt is much. empty except for two alcoves in the back wall. Above the alcoves are the following words. Pass not these portal, ye foolish mortals. Interesting. Hey Justin, I might have to go. I might have to go. I'm not feeling good. Yeah, get going then. All right, thank you. Bye. Hmm. Do I see any kind of a way out of this room? Uh, there's the two alcoves to the south, and then there's a marble slab door to the north. Yeah, let's take a look at the alcove. Well, there's two of them. Go right. Hmm? Someone getting a drink? No, it's just pissing into a cup. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Favorite hobby? Why, why did you take that as a plausible answer? Liam used to piss in bottles, so. Yeah, but I'm not Liam. But Jory did, and Keegan did, so. Don't fucking judge me, Keegan. I'm... I know! Everything. All right, so I'm gonna go into one of the alcoves. I don't want to hear about your guys' habits. Which one? East or west? Uh, go west. Go west. Uh, you step in the western alcove and nothing happens. Anything in here? Nothing seems to happen. So there's your light. Okay, let's go over to the eastern alcove. You step into the eastern alcove. And find yourself... I believe it's... Here. There we go. You find yourself not in that little chamber anymore. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Look around the room, see if I can see whatever's in here. This black or this dark tomb has a vaulted ceiling thirty feet overhead. The essence of evil permeates the very air. The smell of freshly turned earth is here. Settle it into the dirt floor is a shining black coffin of finely waxed wood. The coffin's fittings are of brilliant brass and the lid is closed. South of the coffin are three gloomy alcoves. An iron lever protrudes from the north wall 
east of the tomb's entrance. Hmm. Let's go pull the lever. Okay. Uh, you pull the lever and you hear a loud creaking noise as if uh, something has been opened. And that's the three alcoves down here, right? Uh, the three alcoves down here. Uh, the you came from the middle one. I'm gonna take a look. And at there's you. no, there wasn't like gates or anything in them. Okay, I'm gonna go into this one right here. Uh, you step into the east one. Uh, there is no effect when you step into that one. All right, let's go over to the other one over here. Uh, you step into that one and you find yourself stepping out of the uh, the western alcove back in the little chamber that you would find yourself in. Huh. Liam, you gonna do anything? Uh, yep. Uh, I'm going to stop freaking out, collect all the jewelry on me at the moment, and put it in the nearest satchel. I'm keeping it. Uh, I mean, you're wearing it. Oh. Never mind then. I go through the door. Alright, you push open the door. Uh, you have dark vision, so you can see. I'm pretty sure you also have to spell light. Probably, yeah. But you have dark vision, so your eyes work in the dark. And of course, the newfound skeleton finds himself in a max grave? What the fuck is this? Again. Some kind of crypt? Ah, he finds himself in a crypt. Crypt on these nuts. Maybe in a mound. Maybe he's in a mound. Who knows? Hey, Keegan, you want to take over for Jory? Sure, I guess. Since you've essentially doomed your character already. <laughs> hey, how long am I going to be stuck out there for? Uh, until six hours pass and you have to get out of your thing, and then you freeze to death because exhaustion is a thing up there. I mean, I thought I was talking about like how long I thought the hourglass ran out, then I would teleport back. No. No, you're there. Oh. You've trapped yourself on a uh, on a mountainside. Even what it meant by reset was as in the actual like location resets. Like the bead oh. you threw in would get reset. You. You decided to touch the mysterious magical thing that you know absolutely nothing about, and you got teleported to probably the worst location. Well, looks like Keegan's making a new character sooner than he thought. So you have six hours. If the party gets to your location in six hours, then, uh, then you might survive. Question. Either that, or do you have, like, a method of, like, not freezing to death? Hey, you I think I can bring the blankets and stuff that are in there out. Egan, is this a brand no. new character? Yep. Nick will be I think I bring happy. the that's stuff that's in it outside that's of it. That's so. more content. You know, that one lasts nearly five minutes. <laughs> Hey, Keegan, you're now law my dog for the rest of this, uh, session. That, that's a fast rate in mine. I, I haven't killed one within the first half an hour of a session. 
Indeed. I like to open this door. You would like to open that door? Okay, I well, would. You stand right there. I do. You get nuts as well. I guess. I stand. Uh, yep, you step right there. Give me a second. So I can... Stand the door. I stand here contemplating life. And all its meanings. Thinking of what 2 plus 2 is. That's, a, that's <laughs> something that Keegan... Not Keegan. Uh, Liam will struggle with. I'm moderately good at math, though. Are you? I said moderately. Yeah? Moderately good at math. Keegan was 2 times 0. Not oh, fuck, Liam. Two times zero. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's zero. I was really hoping you were gonna say two. That's two times one. Yeah, we know that. That's two. What's <coughs> one billion times one trillion and seventy five? Okay, once well, you can answer that in the same amount of time, <laughs> that counts. I don't know how many zeros there are, I can answer that. What's the square root of one? Pi. What? Alright, <laughs> uh, you step there, triggering a pressure plate, uh, which hits you with four darts. Wait, how does Liam oh. actually have health? What the f*** is this? He didn't go unconscious, remember? He fully died. He died. Oh wait, is this a new ca- oh, this is a new character. This is not a new character, this is the same character. What? How? What? How's We're that revenant. work? Oh. I'm undead. Uh, just so you know, no, I'm not going to do that glitch. Uh... uh I need you to make four constitution saves, Liam. Okay. Keegan, even for a Scooby snack? No, not even for a Scooby snack. <laughs> what about for two Scooby snacks? A rut roll, Raggy. It looks like he has you there. Come on. Ask me to kill yeah. Jory's character. <laughs> okay, uh, three passes and one fail. Would be very funny, big. Turn that on. All right, first one. You take two piercing damage and uh, six poison. Uh, so eight damage from wait, the first dart. Do I even take poison damage anymore? I'm a paladin. Yeah. <laughs> no. You can't be diseased. Poison. You're immune to disease, not poison. I think that's later for paladins. Uh, your second one, you take three piercing and four poison. Zoan, so, shouldn't the heart be much quieter now? It should, yeah. Only asking because it was quite annoying that loud. Uh, the third one was a crit. So you take... Four piercing damage. And uh, nine poison. Are you doing all this? I'm just waiting for all of them to be uh, done before I calculate them all. Yeah, but I'm having the poison damage. Oh, you're having it? Yeah, because you made three successful saves. Okay, I've last... done that. Okay, give me a second. I'll get it for you. I take back my statement about being moderately good at math. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Liam, just pull out a calculator. I have a calculator on my computer. It still doesn't help. I'm an idiot, Keegan. 
I'm an idiot, Morty. Uh, the last one you take the full damage because you failed the last save. So First it's step is accepted. Um, is is Jory's character able to see in the dark? Nope. Oh. <laughs> My character will be more. Uh, will be more. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, Take your last hit. Careful next time. You damage. Torch oh, eight damage. Jory's got a hundred and twelve arrows. Jesus Christ. I mean, he's a, he's a rogue. Uses them a lot. Even my person I play as a ranger didn't have that many. Oh, a bow user, but still. I'm, I'm gonna say quickly cast a healing spell. Doesn't have to be. Fighters can also use bows. What's your point? Anyone can use bows, uh, but it's not cast specifically for bows. I'm saying. I'm gonna cast uh, cure wounds to heal for nine. Okay. My goat, my gnome ranger. There, now 29. That's good enough. Is the door booby trapped or just the pressure plate? You stepped on the pressure plate. Oh. I'd like to open the door carefully. Okay. The pressure plate goes off again. Uh, you open the door. Uh, this crypt smells of roses. The remains atop its marble slab have disintegrated, except for one thigh bone. I can still smell. Chew it like a dog. Oh, there's one thigh bone in here. I'm taking it. A thigh bone connects to the... Uh, you grab the bone? Yes. A ghostly form appears above the dust, so faint that you can barely discern more than part of a face. From this apparition comes the faintest of whispers. The vampire must be destroyed. Use me as your weapon. With that, it fades away. Sorry, did I come from the thigh bone? <laughs> no, it came from a ghostly apparition. Fuck. A ghostly yeah, but, apparition. Yeah, but is it referring to the fight? Is it asking you to fight a vampire with a thigh bone? I can do that. Because that would be very entertaining. I will fight you with a thigh bone. <laughs> you summoned my trap card, the thigh bone. <laughs> <laughs> I summon the mighty thigh bones. I believe in the heart of the thigh bone. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, that's not what happens. Hmm? What happens? You have a thigh bone. Do I attune to the thigh bone? Mm -hmm. You have it... to figure that out. Is the thigh bone okay. genuinely a weapon? I'm going to try. I'm going to take a long rest and try to, in this Short crypt rest? over here. Or a long. You want to take a long rest? I want to take a long rest. I would like to lock myself in the tomb. I took a lot of damage. I'll take, I'll take a long. What are the other two doing then? Dio is going to light his singular torch that he has. Okay. Uh, is there any doors or anything in the room he's in? There is a single marble door. He's going to uh, open the door. Actually, the Give me a strength check. Stealthily open the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if I need a strength check, how do I can stealthily open this? Uh, it's a marble door. Why is it on a... Strength check. Oh, just strength. Okay. Ah, sure. Okay. You managed to push the door open. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, taking a long rest would probably be a bad idea. Yeah. Um, also, Alina is going to, like, just as soon as it gets close to the end of the clock, she's going to start stuffing, like, pillows and stuff into her uh, clothes. Pillows and blankets. Can she? 
I mean, it says I can take stuff out with me. Okay. I would like to take a short rest, by the way. I'm just gonna roll hit dice. Alright. And I would also like to attune to the uh, thigh bone while doing so. Sure. She's also going to uh, dash down the hill, and since she has the mobile feet, she has not get rough terrain or anything. There's not. You're not going to do anything with her right now, so stop saying that. Okay. Uh, he's going to. I'm kind of roll stealth to make it so Dio starts trying to sneak through here, assuming that he didn't alert everybody opening the door. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, 25. Yep, 25. Okay, he's going to, uh, like, look around this corner, see if we can see anything on either side. Yeah, you can see it like that. And, uh... Makes me sad that they were so close. To... I assume they'd all be in, like, different spots around the castle. Okay, he's going to go up here. Okay. You're going to, what, look around the corners again? Yeah. Okay, you look around the corners again. Is there a uh, way up here? Yes. Can you He's going to roll over here and look up that corner. Is that a door I see? Is that I door see right three doors. Oh. Once again, going over here and look around the corner. Give me a minute. Okay. Can I survey the area a bit? Is there any other paths I can see? Well, I was Hallway. doing something, but you moved. Oh, sorry. Uh, when I say give me a minute, that means don't move. Is it that's stuck in your head now? Yeah. There. I don't even know the words, so I don't know idea, but I just I just keep on thinking of the fight thing. Uh, Nate, you gonna do anything or are you just gonna stay sitting in there? No, yeah, I'm gonna go back uh into where the coffin is. Okay. Uh, when you go through the alcove, it takes you to the middle thing, so just move your token down there if you want. Would he see my light? Not from where he was. Oh, okay. Because he was, he, he didn't open the thing yet. Oh, alright. Alright, and while I'm here... I'm gonna cast Cure Light Wounds on myself. Let's take a walk up over and take investigate that uh, coffin. Okay. Uh, it is a black wooden coffin. It's quite nice. Uh, it's somewhat sunken into the earth. Uh, the interior is full of lush red velvet cushion. Seems to be very nice, very expensive. So nothing in there at all, just... Uh, no, it is empty. Alright, so I'm going to take some holy water and I'm going to douse the inside of it. Okay. And I'm also gonna, you know, put a holy symbol in just for the hell of it. You gonna what? I'm gonna throw a holy symbol in my in there. Okay. Sure. Can I consecrate the ground by any chance? Uh no, you don't have a there there's specific spells for cons consecration. 
Mm, damn it. That's just in case something goes in there. It's going to have a nice, nasty little surprise. Okay. All right, and there's stairs leading up to the north, right? Yes. All right, let's go up the stairs. Uh, you go up the stairs. I'm going to remove that line because you opened the portcullis. All right, move straight up. Uh, if you don't like that, uh, you see light over to your uh, to the west. All right, let's go west. Also, Dio, you can see light coming from the southeast. Dio's gonna to um, Dio's gonna tuck around this corner, unaware of who's coming. Okay. And he's going to uh, hide in his shell. Okay. The second use we've seen of that shell so far. Yeah, it's not even him using it. <laughs> so, Keegan, you hide like a coward. So I walk up to where the light is. You walk up to where the light is and you find a turtle hiding in his shell. And I kick it. Hey, what are you doing to me? Yeah, just waking you up. Thought you might have been dead. Instant death. He only has one hit point. <laughs> ah, do you know how strong this shell is? Hitting his chest, coming out. Now I know who it is. <laughs> For some reason, I don't think you're playing Dio right. You should be asking where your uh, husband is. More? Of course, uh, this. What he doesn't realize is, you know, when I kick them, I also cast Cure Light Wounds. Does, does your kick do the reverse effects? <laughs> <laughs> like all clerics. I'm just special, I guess. Mama always said I was special. Mama always said that I was like a box of chocolates. So does I mine, but I think like it's for a different reason. You never know what kind of crazy you're going to get. Have you seen anybody else around? No, not yet. Any idea where we are? Some kind of catacomb. I found a coffin. That was interesting. Left a surprise for the whoever owns it. Good work. Now to get the hell out of here and find... Shit, what was his sidekick's name? Buzz. Buzz? Okay. Now let's get out of here and find the Buzz. I feel like Isn't he Buzz dead? On fire. No. Why, uh -huh. would, why would Buzz be dead? He didn't fight. I don't know. I don't remember what happened. I don't even think you went with us. So did anything happen with that thigh bone? Uh, you're still in the midst of your attunement right now. It takes you a full oh. hour, and I mean, these two are walking around in the exact same area as you. Oh, could I pretend to be dead while I'm doing this, by the way? Mm, I guess. Let's go. I'm a skeleton, full armor, and jewelry, holding a thigh bone. Intensely. Alright, uh... Start moving. I'm gonna... Me playing Sea of Corners. You realize we have a light, right? So there's no stealth involved. They don't see light. How much intelligence does that turtle have, Keegan? Uh, he has a 13 in intelligence. But he also has brain damage, as proven by Jory. He's ugly, be smarter than me. I feel like you're not playing the character right. 
Majori, so. You're ruining him. Ruin. He's better than what we did to his last character. <laughs> Made him into a prostitute, basically. <laughs> that was Zen's fault in fairness. No. In all in fairness, we can do it to this one too. <laughs> it was you only Zoe's fault, and no one else's you, met, you you know how Dio acted in his <laughs> previous previous campaigns. Uh, <laughs> around uh, Keegan. Yeah. You can see in that direct in this direction. Uh, there is like light, like some kind of dim blue light off. At like the end, like like way off in the distance. I'm going to. Uh, it's about to look over. it's about ninety feet from you. Uh, they're going to look over at Catania. Do any of our allies let off blue lights? Not that I'm aware of. Should should we investigate it or get the hell away from it? Well. Might as well take a look, and maybe you might be one of our friends. Might as well, I guess. Uh, was it coming from this direction or this direction? It's coming directly from your east. Okay, then. He's gonna start heading towards it. Okay. Go west. Is Christania following me? It doesn't look like she is. Trying oh. to have an 80 pound freaking boxer in front of me. Understandable. Have a nice day. He's gonna start heading towards the light. Okay. Uh, you get to about there. I'm gonna reveal everything here because it's not darkness where. It's not darkness in there. And I gotta find a thing to read. Wide steps descend to a landing flanked by two alcoves. Within each alcove, taking up the full 30-foot height of the ceiling, is a bronze statue of a warrior holding a spear. A soft blue curtain of light flows between the two alcoves. Dimly visible on the other side of the curtain are more descending stairs. They're just going to uh, look over at Cassania. Do you want to figure out what this is, or...? In for a penny, in for a pound. After you. Alright, I missed the description, because I'm playing with a dog. Huh? Wide steps descend to a landing flanked by two alcoves. Within each alcove, taking up the full 30-foot height of the ceiling, is a bronze statue of a warrior holding a spear. A soft blue curtain of light flows between the two alcoves. Dimly visible on the other side of the curtain are more descending stairs. So, if we cross that threshold, those... Statues are going to come to life. Probably try to kill us. Maybe we should try some of these doors before we try that. I'm going to throw my bolt with my light through the curtain. See what happens. Okay. Uh, you <laughs> throw your light object through the. Like your little bolt or whatever it was, you just chuck it through. Mm -hmm. and it goes right through without a problem. The statues don't react? The statues do not react. Maybe it's living things and not a bolt. Turtle boy! <laughs> You're up! Go get my light! Yeah, fuck that! I'll heal you! I want to do that first, then. I already did. You're good. 
You stopped bleeding, mostly. Mostly. A big old he's gash on his head says run. otherwise. He's going to reluctantly and get ready to run. And he's going to prepare an action to dash away. Um, he's going to touch the light. Uh, you try and... You, you touch the light, uh, and it's like a solid barrier to you. No good. Interesting. Anyone got the spell magic? I'm a cleric. What do you think? We lost the one. I'm guessing it. no actually useful spells. I think clerics can get the spell magic. I'm pretty sure everything gets the spell magic. Yeah, clerics can get the spell magic. He's letting off light, right? Hmm. You are, because you have a torch. Liam's character. No, Liam has dark vision. Oh, that's where the square is. The aura is just a uh, aura of uh, protection. Ah. You feel protected when you're near me. Though you should. Making a try or? I'll give this shot, see what happens. See if I'm stopped as well. Sure. Okay, uh, I'm in a room. Oh, I can't see anything. You manage to push through, though it's difficult. Uh, it's you, you get through, but it's like quite a bit of difficulty behind it. There, there is resistance. I pick up my bolt with my light. Okay. What's in the room? Uh, this tomb rests in hushed silence. Tall, stained glass windows dominate the eastern walls, allowing dim light to fall on two coffins resting atop white marble slabs. The one against the north wall is marked King Barov von Zarevich, and the one against the south wall is marked Queen Ravenovia von Royen. The vaulted ceiling, Found 30 feet off her head, is inlaid with a beautiful golden mosaic. I think you've just found Strahd's parents. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, you know those stained glass windows? Yeah. You're breaking the nice yeah, stained cool. glass windows. Oh hell yeah! We fought vampires. Screw this shit. Man, okay, that's just rude. you you shatter the windows. Yeah, I want light, natural freaking light in this room. Is it night outside? Anyways, we never got the flowers, so we never guys we never cured you guys with lycanthropy. No, I already was thinking about that. <laughs> we don't know where we are. Does that ever become permanent? Hmm? Lycanthropy. Like hmm. I don't know. Lycanthropy like does become permanent. Okay. Alright, so there's two um Tombs in here? Yes. Alright, let's go take a look at this one. Uh, that one is marked King Barov von Zarevich. Not even gonna check if it's actually light coming in the windows, not moonlight. I don't care. You should. You should, because one of them doesn't kill vampires. That's great, I'm already infected with lycanthropy. Being a vampire is like. Inside that thing. coffin, uh, you find a life-sized wax effigy of a man whom you assume to be King Barov. Wax? 
wax. Anything. Okay. Uh, you don't see anything in his crypt. Let's go see if his wife is also wax. Yeah, wax wife. Wax on, wax off. The South I don't think he should be doing that to his wife. Holds the skeleton of a woman. Uh, a tattered white shroud covers her bones. Lying atop the skeleton, you see a holy symbol. Oh wait, I can't cast spells. Alright, religion check. Do I recognize the holy symbol? Uh, you do not recognize it. It's in the shape of a sun. Uh, it's silver with a ruby in the center. And it's on a gold chain. Milady, I fear we may need this more than you do at the moment. Please forgive my intrusion. I will come back and replace this if I live. And I take the... The holy symbol. Okay. Take the holy symbol. Nothing happens? Nothing happens. Hoping it's quite useful. Considering there's a barrier and there's nothing else? Alright, let's go try and get through back through the barrier. Okay. Uh, it's much easier leaving than entering. I just discovered something. I can't cast spells because I don't have my holy uh, symbol. Hmm. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I'm a fighter now, I guess. I guess I'm a fighter now. You're also going to take nine hit points off, Liam, because you don't—you couldn't cast that healing, that that cure wounds of yours. Yep. Wait, could I use other holy symbols as my holy symbol? Yeah. All you really need is a holy symbol. I'll let you borrow one of mine. Or you can just Are borrow the one you got and song? cast Cure Wounds. Because Cure Wounds does not require a material component. But it requires magic, and I don't have magic without my holy symbol. Isn't that their version of the Arcane Focus, which just means you don't need to use the material components? No. I mean, that's how you cast magic in general, Kian, is the holy symbol. Alright, turtle boy. All I found was this holy symbol in the casket. Anywhere else you want to go, I'll follow. Nope, it is just a spell casting focus. You are able to cast healing word. And heal, uh, cure wounds. Oh, then I guess I did cast cure wounds. Always nice to check to see that. <laughs> okay. We should like nope. to keep exploring. See if we have any other allies here. And, um... I'll start heading up this way, I guess. Because we came from down there. Okay. Do you hear that heartbeat? Yeah, it's still. I think he was talking in game. That's how I do. I wonder where that's coming from. I'm not sure. Maybe if we find the others, we can 
find out. Swing around this corner and see a skeleton lying on the ground because he's pretending to be dead. No. You, you go around that. Uh, you go around that corner and are you, I think he's closed in, didn't you? Is he? Yeah, I closed the door. Oh. Can I hear footsteps? Probably, yeah. I'm gonna really start pretending to be dead now. Exactly in the position I was in, I, uh, a normal skeleton would be in. You can see light coming in underneath your, uh, the door. Like, just barely. Would you hear us speaking? If you were speaking, yeah. You're not. Well, we were speaking, we were talking about the, uh... The heartbeat. The heartbeat not coming up the hall. Oh, speaking of, has it been an hour yet? No. Dang. How long has it been? Not an hour. Fair enough. I'm just curious what happens when I get into that. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, let's see. So, what should we do? Continue looking? Maybe we'll find somebody around here somewhere. Maybe. Because we're talking, did you hear us at all? That depends. Yeah. How thick are these walls and how thick's the door? You would have heard them. Oh. Well, since I, I believe my appearance is very different, I'm going to keep pretending to be dead. Basically, they're going to leave you behind. Again. Well, I kind of can't that you're like, like another character. I'm taking a short rest. Do you want me to, I guess, call out and say hi? If you want to, yeah. Hey, guys, I'm in here. Don't come in. I'm doing something. Is that how that works? E-M-I. You hear, you hear, you know. You hear a voice shout that. That's not Birdbeard's voice, but you hear him shout that. Oh god, no. The fuck was that? that voice? Do you recognize I saw that a voice? I, don't I saw recognize... a ghost and it gave me a thigh. I don't recognize the voice, but it apparently knows us. Who is there? It's me. Luigi! Give more information than it's me. <laughs> um, I don't know what to tell you. What is your name? My voice is, my voice is pretty unique. How would you describe his current voice compared to the old one? Uh, quite raspy. Ready and destroy mm -hmm. undead. You're Why? I'm the raspy. Don't speak. I could be a smoker, dead. De de Not everything's a destroy undead. We've been in Barovia. With that voice. Are you sure about that? Yes, I don't know somebody with that raspy of a voice. Okay, just like wait an hour. I'm almost done. I'll open the door eventually. I guess we're gonna sit here with our re our weapons readied. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Did, you know your name. I know. You are making this unneedingly complicated. <laughs> you go around saying your name to people all the time. No, I don't. Whenever I once said my name is Captain Birdbeard. I've never even introduced myself to anyone, any of the NPCs. Great. Now he's come out. Now he's Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> you must answer me. He's <laughs> riddle three to and to get my name. That is not Rumpelstiltskin. I know. I mixed the troll and Rumpelstiltskin together. You must <laughs> get guess so my name. You're, so you're so you're not even going to tell them who you are. You're just going to sit in there. <laughs> I'll tell them when I get out. 
just like preoccupied at the moment. I, I guess we're gonna sit here and just like take a short rest as well. <laughs> I guess sure. <laughs> you can take a short rest while you wait. Feel free to attune to that uh thing you found. I'm gonna attune to that uh, holy symbol. God damn yeah, that's it, what, that's what I meant. Okay. All right. Well, uh, roll your hit dice. If you want to roll a hit die. Uh, Early has two hit die for some reason. Pretty sure that's wrong. Would he be back at full at this point? I don't think he had two to begin with. Mostly he just forgot to refill it. Probably, yeah. It's Jory. Alright, uh, first off, since an hour has passed, a dog. Yes. The crown that you were attuning to was a crown. <laughs> that it, it was just a crown. Oh. Uh, a no crown. magic. Uh, can, can I continue uh, setting up for an attune to the uh, statue? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, please. Liam? <laughs> You have attuned to, uh... A thigh bone. You have attuned to, specifically, St. Markovia's thigh bone. Ah, yes. St. Markovia's thigh bone has the properties of a mace of disruption. If it scores one or more hits against a vampire or a vampire spawn in the course of a single battle, the thigh bone does not crumble into dust once the battle concludes. And the rest of it's just lore. Oh, so, so as long as I don't fight a vampire, as long as I fight vampires, I won't crumble to dust. No, it's a mace of disruption. Uh -huh. uh, mace, uh, a mace of disruption. Uh, when you hit a fiend or an undead with this magic weapon, the creature takes an extra two d six radiant damage. If the creature has, or if the target has twenty five hit points or fewer, after taking this damage, it must succeed on a DC fifteen wisdom save or be destroyed. On a successful save, it becomes frightened until the end of your next turn. While you hold this weapon, it sheds bright light in a 20-foot radius and a and dim light for an additional 20 feet. And uh, I'm pretty sure Maces of Disruption are supposed to disintegrate when they, uh, after they fight a vampire with them once. Oh, but this one doesn't. Yeah. I mean, the Maces of Disruption, I'm looking at it, doesn't do that either. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to. Well, it doesn't disintegrate, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, can I fight, like, things that are not vampires? And yeah. Will it not crumble the dust? Okay, yeah, good, good. You good, just good. won't get extra damage from it. It'll just be a mace. Oh. Okay, could you add that to my uh, inventory? Are you sure you're the one that wants to use it? I mean, what else would I use? Well, for one, there's this magical uh, axe that somebody in the party has. Which is currently... Is uh, currently not with us. Wait, That's yeah. not with true. That's currently on your cleric, who can't actually use axes, but can use oh. maces. Hint, hint. Ah, uh, switch it. Oh, uh, what does the axe do, though? We have the axe. Thing. It's a magical battle axe. Uh, plus one magical weapon. But it won't work with him because he's not. Good. I mean, it'll hurt him for one damage when he makes attacks with it, but that's it. It's not good. It deals an additional 1d6 slashing damage to enemies. So 1d8. I think it's 1d6, didn't I? Are you, non are you a non-good alignment? No, no I'm not. neutral. Oh, okay. Bugbeer is true neutral. I mean, not Bugbeer. Sorry, um, Birdbeer was true neutral? Yeah, he still is. Neutral as fuck. Alright, well, the mace will only do 1d6 damage to everything except undead and fiends. Okay, I'll switch it with her when I get a chance to. I guess. Okay. Get stuck because she's outside. <laughs> okay, guys, get ready to play and, the uh, Shrek theme. Get ready to play the Shrek theme. No, don't, don't do anything yet because I'm not done. 
Oh, because yeah, there sorry. was one more thing that I was being attuned to. Oh, yeah, the thing. Uh, that would be the holy symbol of Ravenkind. The holy symbol has 10 charges and the following properties. It regains 1d6 plus 4 charges at dawn. Hold vampires. As an action, you can expand one charge to present the symbol to make it flare with holy power. Vampires and vampire spawn within 30 feet of the holy symbol must make a DC 15 wisdom save. On a failed save, the target is paralyzed for one minute. It can repeat the save at the end of each of its turns. If you have the turn undead or the turn the unholy feature, you can expend three charges when you present the holy symbol while using that feature. When you do so, the undead have disadvantage on their saving throw against the effect. As an action, you can spend five charges while presenting the holy symbol to make it shed bright light in a 30-foot radius and dim light an additional 30 feet. The light is sunlight and acts and lasts for 10 minutes until you end the effect. Ho, 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 I love this thing. This is also uh, the shepherd, which is uh, a level up. Oh, cool. Wait, we left. Oh, yeah, find yeah. the mother. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, each mother. time we find a card, uh, we get a level up. You know, if I actually thought about it and didn't and thought and didn't think it was like a riddle that I had to solve, I could have teleported directly to her. Cause she was one of the teleportations. Yeah. If you had only thought. With your brain. Yeah, he's not good at that. I thought it was a riddle. It was. I don't understand why you thought, why you were so adamant that it was a riddle. Okay, so we leveled up. Yep. The reason I thought it was a riddle is because it listed specific colors, and there was gems, and it was saying the yeah, gems it... and fire. And I, I thought, okay, I saw them in a specific order. The moment it said like locations, I was like, well, this is def <laughs> this is definitely that. Anyway, yeah, so Keegan. Keegan's gonna be doing uh, Dad's uh, level up, so Zoe can help with mine. Yep. Level. My slots doesn't go up. Proficiency doesn't. Key points goes up to seven. Now my movement stays the same. I get evasion and stillness of mind. Level seven, uh, level seven, Dad. You get um, fourth level spell slot. So if you want for your new spell, you can take you can take the uh, you can take a seventh level spell. I can take a what? Seventh level spell. Seventh? Wait, my... no. <laughs> Not even close. Right, I'm at fourth. I'm at fourth. I'm at fourth. No, no, I, I, I like seventh level spell. You, you can get fourth level spell. I can now end charmed and frightened. Here are these the uh, fourth level spells: aura of life, aura of purity, banishment, control water. Just send him the spells. He can look through them himself. Yep. Oh sweet! I get that thing. If it's a uh, dex save, I get. I take no damage if of them. That's essentially the message of them. I get a new invocation. I actually might be able to take something to help me in this. I 
Okay, I'm all done. Uh, what is... Alright, I think you get a new thing here, Liam. Uh, Aura of Conquest. Ooh, I love new things. You constantly emanate a menacing aura while you're not incapacitated. The aura extends 10 feet from you in every direction, but not through total cover. If a creature is frightened of you, its speed is reduced to zero while in the aura. And it takes psychic damage equal to half your paladin level if it starts its turn there. Oh, I have two auras now. And they basically overlap on top of each other. They're both 10-foot auras. <laughs> Uh, that means that you should start using your channel divinities more because you've got conquering presence which causes creatures within 30 feet of you to be frightened so you could frighten a creature get really close to it and they can't run away from you and it also takes psychic damage yeah Also, you need to get a new spell. Okay, let me just look up. Let me just get the uh, Paladin uh, spell sheet up. Yep. Did I save it? Yeah, Paladin spell list. Um, same little spells. Uh, you can have up to second. You also have oath spells that I apparently forgot to put in, so. What? Why that? You have two more spells from your oath of conquest that are just free. Oh. Free spells. Cool. Did it have to be a certain level? Hmm? Did it have to be a certain level? Well, the, there are uh... specific spells that you get. You don't get to pick oh. them. Like your command and armor of Agathus that you've got, you don't get to choose what they are, you just get them. Ah. Uh, a spell that would help me find uh, uh, my uh, stuff and my corpse. Locate object. That's what you're going to look for? Yeah, probably locate not. object? Probably not. Just said it. Uh, let's see here. What's a branding smite do? Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's just a worse version of Smite. 2d6 radiant damage to the target, which becomes visible if is invisible. And the target... Uh, I mean, you could probably cast Polymorph, but what are you going to do with it? I think I'll take a uh, Searing Smite. Target level attack, so I can get CR eleven. I mean CR seven. Let's see. Uh, what oh, are you doing, cool, mate? I got a weapon. Trying to figure out how to add a spell. You just drag and drop it. What spell are you trying to add? Guardian of Faith.
There, I really suck at this. Yeah, you don't need to hit the pulse marks or anything when you when you do it. You just have your sheet open, search Guardian of Faith, and drag and drop it. You don't press anything on your character sheet. Uh, I had it open in a separate tab, so whenever I do that, my my character sheet goes away. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a uh, searing smite. That's an interesting choice, okay. Because pyromaniacs will rule the world one day. Also, why not Searing Smite? There's not much Be else, really. Because it's first level and you already have Smite? Well, I could pick something else, but there's not a lot of good stuff. At least in my opinion. Aid, bending, bending my find steed, find vehicle, UA, gentle repose, lesser restoration, locate object, magic weapon, I already have that, prayer of healing, protection from poison. I'm not less restoration. Warned, whatever that says in zone of truth. There's not like a good uh, spell. Why not the lesser level. restoration? Because that's the pa that's the healer's job. It would be helpful for more than just. That was it. Even if you just use it on yourself. I mean. Uh. Blinded, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. That's how you can that you, you cast a spell and get rid of those. Uh, not bad. You could take fine steed. <laughs> you what summon kind of a steed? you you summon a spirit that assumes the form of an unusually intelligent, strong, and loyal steed, creating a long lasting bond with it. Appearing in an unoccupied space within range, the steed takes on the form that you choose a war horse, a pony, a camel, an elk, or a mastiff. <laughs> The steed has Please. the statistics of the chosen form, though it is a celestial, fey, or fiend, your choice, instead of its normal type. Additionally, your steed has an intelligence. Uh, uh, if your steed has an intelligence of five or less, its intelligence becomes six. It gains the ability to understand one language of your choice that you speak. Hey, Zowen. Your, your steed serves as your mount, as a mount, both in and out of combat, and you have an instinctive bond with it that allows it to fight with you as a seamless unit. While mounted on your steed, you can make any spell you cast that targets only you target your steed. When it drops to zero, it disappears, leaving it behind no physical form. You can dismiss it at any time with an action, causing it to disappear. Uh, while your steed is within one mile of you, you can communicate with each other telepathically. You can't have more than one steed bonded by the spell at a time. Hey, hey, Zowen. How tall is this character? Uh, oh! Your new body is seven feet tall. Seven feet tall, you say? I want a pony. <laughs> hey, do you guys think an eagle would be able to withstand the cold up here? Hold on. I gotta check how tall a pony is. Fine, steed. You really gonna- you're- you really gonna go with a pony and not a mastiff? Massive I'm giant not... dogs, Liam. First of all, I'm not Keegan. <laughs> you don't want to be a seven foot tall guy riding a dog? <laughs> That's what a massive is, it's a dog. Could go with the war horse. But, but also, why not a pony? Because hmm. it's funnier if you're riding on a dog that's smaller than a pony. They're not that tough. You could go with a camel. <laughs> I could also go with a uh, 
Wait, hold on. It's a steed, right? Any steed? You can choose a warhorse, pony, camel, elk, or mastiff. Oh. Dang it. Anyway, uh... Hmm. Or you could take aid. Nah, fuck choose up to three. Choose up to three creatures. Their current hit point maximum and hit points increases by five for the duration. Nah, Which... I'll take uh, I'll I'll take the uh, the uh, summon steed. But now I'm questioning, what steed should I find? How many steeds are there? You already listed them all like, three times already. Warhorse, pony, Is it... camel, elk, mastiff. So that's six, right? Or five? Five. Five. Okay. Is there a D five? Roll D five. There's no D5. I'll roll a D4. Four, take or slash out. 1D5. Bro. Oh. Or slash R1D5. Oh. Alright. Well, I'm gonna take that. Okay, what was the second option there? Let's see. It was... The second option was a pony. <laughs> <laughs> Liam got his way in the end, I guess. Actually, I, I think... <laughs> Actually, I think that uh, that that's one of the spells that's affected by Barovian magic, which is really cool. Actually, oh, yeah, I think it is. I remember in the book, didn't yeah. it happen like skeletal or something? Oh yeah. I got a. Sk I'm a skeleton, skeleton riding, riding a skeleton, skeleton pony. pony. <laughs> Barovian magic: the summoned steed is undead and is immune to features that turn undead. So you have a, like, zombie horse. Actually, could I take the war horse instead as a pony? Sure. I just thought how stupid that would look. That's the fun Also, part. how cool, how cool it would look for a skeleton riding a skeleton giant horse. So, yeah. But maybe next time for the pony. Maybe next time. So, yeah. So, would you think that, um, as an eagle, I would be able to, um, I'd still be able to, like, go through everything properly? Well, you're still up in the cold, so you're going to take a point of exhaustion for traveling through it. Okay. Even as an eagle, because, I mean, you're up on the top of a mountain, and I'm pretty sure they don't live up there. Depends how big the mountain is. Pretty big. Pretty big, big, enough that, big enough that it's literally cold enough to cause you to die. Okay, there wouldn't be, uh, probably crows up there, though. I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be much in the way of any animals up there. In fact, I know that there's not much in the way of animals up there. There's a penguin, a singular penguin. Nah. There's something a lot bigger and meaner. Liam, the Gorilla. penguins, they have a club. The Yeti. That's what I said. Anyway, so I got a war horse now. Hooray. How funny would it be if he ran into a beholder? Hey, I have a quick question. What happened to my donkey? I the believe donkey the donkey seen. is currently with Buzz. So, unknown. Yeah, yeah this is, eagles do work. Eagles and many other types of birds are well suited to even the snowiest of winters. So at least they are somewhat good for the cold. Better than a person would be. Sorry, put one into Antarctica and see how that goes. Yeah, I didn't say that they would do good in that kind of climate. I said that they, they like, they're like they good for the snowiest of winters. I didn't say they'd be good yeah, for the cold climate. Whatever. So if I, I could turn into a giant eagle, which has an 80 foot flying speed. Okay, I put fine steed on there. Finally, I have a pony. That was a horse. The Zamboni pony. Master. War horse. War horse, yes, yes, war horse. Oh, come on, to Liam, it's his little pony. I don't get it. You my need little ponies. pony, my little pony. <laughs> I just gave you a huge fucking hint as the joke he was making. Yes, I got the fucking joke. Liam's when you start singing, 
the song. But you still got a war horse and not a pony. <laughs> hey! A war horse can kick a pony's ass. My little war horse, my little war horse. <laughs> So can we can we put some uh, flames on his skeletal head and start calling him Robbie Ray? I can get illusion magic. The old version of Ghost Rider. Before he okay, somebody needs to, somebody needs to get an illusion spell that makes flames. Why get an illusion spell? There are spells that make you on fire. I'll be honest. I didn't get the reference. The only Robbie Ray I know is a baseball player. And I'm pretty sure his head wasn't on fire. It's um the second guy that took the mantle after Johnny Blaze. Oh. Ghost Rider. As Ghost Rider. Yeah. But uh, instead of driving a uh, motorcycle, he had a uh, hot rod Big car man. that would uh, go in flames. I think I think I'd prefer the uh, the newest um, Ghost Rider. The blue one? No, Frank Castle. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, I, I, I think he was like one of these weird alternate timeline things of like, what if Frank Castle became the uh, the Ghost Rider, and it happened like during basically the Infinity War. Oh man, who better suited for uh, the, the spirit of vengeance and Punisher himself? It it sucks because he comes back as the spirit of vengeance after Thanos killed everybody. Wait, hold on. So his whole thing is, uh, I think the only people left alive at that point were Thanos and the Celestials and Hulk. So he oh, Hulk decided to so. He was eventually found after being on Earth alone for a long time by uh, Galactus, who then made him his herald. So you have a Ghost Rider, Herald of Galactus, Punisher, who wants to kill Thanos. Technically, and is completely he insane. Tell it actually be cool. In the comic books, at least. It happened in the comic books. Huh? It happened in the comic books. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's Cosmic okay. Ghost Rider. So, we've, we've leveled up, uh, we've rested an hour, Liam's still hiding in a frickin' tomb. I am hopefully getting out of this fucking mountain. And we have no idea where Glitch is. He followed the beating heart. Now, if, follow, if you ever listen to any romance song, this is not going to end well for him. <laughs> what, is he going to break it? Break it, stomp on it, all that shit. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna slowly uh, creak the door open, honestly. I'll, are we still going? Yes. Ooh, we got like 15 minutes left. Oh, okay. Uh, you open the door then, okay? I open the door menacingly. Slowly. Making sure it hits every creak. Okay. And I step out. Fabulously. You got to turn on Data Active. Tis I, Captain Birdbeard. In the bones. You're just gonna, like, what did you see? Uh, you see a seven foot tall humanoid figure in ratty old, like, half plate with a blood-stained maul and quite a bit of jewelry, and he's very much skeletal. Okay, so I'm going to be doing Destroy Undead. Fool! Okay, roll it. 
Not sure how to roll it. Uh, you have a thing that says Champ Divinity Turn Undead. Just it, it's just that. And then certain undead that are under a certain level just die. I click on it, nothing happens. Oh, uh, click, click the, on uh... the speech bubble. When you scroll over it, there it is. Uh, Liam, I think you have a thing for that. I do. I do indeed. I mean, it says that um, when an undead fails the saving throw against it, did, Liam didn't fail to save. I don't have to take it, so that, that's null and void. What is this? Hey guys, look! I got a cool looking thigh bone! Pulling out the glowing thigh bone. How do we know you are bird beard? You do not have a beard! I don't? He's also not bad. Grabbing, <laughs> grabbing my face. Does Dio have a mirror on him or anything? Uh, eyes of the grave do uh, sense the presence of an undead right in front of you. I didn't even know he had an ability called Eyes of the Grave. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely detect undead. What happened to you? A lot of things, like being crushed by a house. And I think drinking too much alcohol. Look, you're not the Wicked Witch. A house didn't magically fall on you. Well, technically it did. It was a living house. You were there, Colton. Actually, yeah, you've seen it happen. I may not remember it. <laughs> that whole fight was a fuzz. I don't. I just remember him going down. He didn't know if he died. He died. Okay, there's only one way to prove it to you guys. Do any of you have one gold coin? Actually, no. I don't think Dio has. Yeah, Dio don't have the gold coins. All right, so come closer. Just throw it over. No, 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 come closer. I don't trust you. I don't have my holy symbol on me. I can't fight back. I toss him one. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to flip it in the air multiple times, like I do. Remember, I constantly flip and count coins. Is that flaw still active? Yes! It's a permanent flaw. What caused that flaw again? Death. Oh. I'm dead. Dead as fuck. He died, and then he got brought back, and he received a uh, permanent madness. Hmm. I don't think you can decompose bones. Usually you have to crush them up first. I'm just trying, just in case. Well, it specifies the corpse of the creature. He's not currently a corpse. He's oh. up and walking. Technically, he's a corpse. He's a walking corpse, but he's a corpse. Just semantic. I'm, watching, I'm a future corpse. I'm keeping this coin, by the way. What if I cast Spare the Dying? You weren't given a coin. I, mean, I was. No, she tossed you a... A, uh... Holy symbol. A holy symbol. That's a... Oh. That's a... a coin to your witch. Can you add the holy symbol to my, uh... Hot bar? Just a holy symbol. It's not an item. It's just a thing that you have. I, I know, but I can't spell that. Which one? Holy or symbol? Oh! Really? Yes! 
Why do weird. you think I need help with? Why do you, Why do you think I need help with actually creating a character? I thought Kaylee would be easy enough. Hmm. Well, since I have my uh, holy symbol, I can cast a spell to prove that I'm a paladin. I mean, you could have you could have proved that you were a paladin without it. I mean, you do have thirty five points of lay on hands. I do, but I'm not wasting them on them. Ah, uh, thirty five points of it, dude. The perfect spell to prove that I'm a uh, a paladin. If you're you really red, if you're really red, Redbeard. Actually casting spells Please. instead of five points onto somebody to heal them. <laughs> Name something that you've done. I'm joking, I'm not actually casting the spell. You gain one point of health. Dad? You gain a single point of health. Make that 19 to 20. Make it an even number. Yes! Okay, so... He's not evil-ish. But how can... Roll a... Roll a, uh... Religion check, mate. See if you've read up on this kind of undead before. Apparently not. <laughs> Has um, Dio ever? Good question. I, mean, I know Dio knows some stuff about religion. Guys, there's an easier way to solve this. How about a history check? I swear, I'm a person. Yeah, that you know. I could actually work better for Dio as well. Uh, I'm gonna say he would know for Dio. Cause... Uh, sure. 16, uh, you've read up on certain undead that aren't so much evil, like they're, they haven't been brought back by like some malicious force, uh, that it's more so that they're undead that come back with a purpose that they need to fulfill. Which doesn't make them evil. And it also makes them incredibly difficult to destroy. Now, if, it, if he is Redbeard, which I'm not 100% convinced... First of all, my name's not Redbeard, it's Birdbeard. Birdbeard, Redbeard... Wine. We haven't... Oh, the same. We, we, we haven't figured out that you're Birdbeard yet. But he could be a, an important ally. Just from what I've learned from studying history. Before we continue this conversation, do you still have that axe on you? What axe? The magical axe. How do you know about that magical axe? I've been with you for the whole adventure. I've watched like five people die. Do you remember the name of said axe? I was not told the name. You never told me the name. You just took it. No, we, I, I think we told him the name, actually. Yeah, no. We did. Yeah, we told everybody in the group the name. Okay, I'm just gonna go over to this. It's go tree to, bane. uh... Treebane? Okay, I'm just gonna say Treebane, then. I have a great deal for you. In exchange for that little axe of yours. That you can't use. A deal with the devil. Flimsy arms. I'm going to pull out the uh, thigh bone. This. You want to trade an axe for a thigh bone? Well, you haven't let me finish what the magic does. It's a magical thigh bone. It does extra damage against undead of any kind. 
it, it turns them to ash. Oh. Including you. You know Except where you... me. Yeah, yeah, it you. Doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't. It doesn't work on good undead. Only the bad ones. Oh, so I saw exactly where my thought was going. It only works on vampires. Yes, that. It only works on vampires. This mace does. Yeah, we get told what it does when he cocoons to it, I'm pretty sure. Bring intent on killing you, Lee. He can try, but I'll just come back again. And of a horse this time. Meanwhile, Purple is up on a ton up on a tower, dozing off. Yeah. I'll make this trade. Meanwhile, this Purple is trapped in a tower because he pissed off a bunch of bats. Oh. <laughs> Great, Purple's gonna become Batman, isn't he? <laughs> this Probably. is how my parents die on top of a tower attacked by bats. I'll make that trade. Good. I'm just gonna take the axe from him and hand him a thigh bone. Okay, you hand over the thigh bone. And I'm gonna no. tap him on the thigh with said thigh bone. Which is not. <laughs> I mean, you're not attuned to it yet, so. I'm not trying to, it's just for fun. Okay, uh, make an attack using your mace, because it's basically a mace right now. <laughs> you don't even hit him. I said it was just for fun, I wasn't trying to uh, hit him. We're hitting each other now, are we? Here, I find this fun. I'm joking, by the way. That would have hit, alright? I don't Dad. think it hit, actually. I don't think so. Really? I think Chris Penny has 17 AC? Yeah, no, that would have hit. Just hit. <laughs> that would have brought you to, <laughs> to one hit point. Hey, I was just tapping you. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't actually hit you. Anyway, I'm just gonna put tree bane in my uh fucking first tree, tree bane, and I'll tune to it later. So for semantics' sake, let's say we believe that your bird beard. For now, have you seen uh, Parcel anywhere? Or any of the other? Like Buzz or Donkey or... Who? Oh, you're really not helping with who the hell you are. Well, did I actually ask their name? Ever? We've been traveling together for weeks. You've addressed I... them before. But did I ask their name? You've called them it. Have I? Yes. Well, excuse me for having my skull crushed in by a ginormous tree. Okay, so let's let's. This isn't helping. Does anybody else hear that heartbeat? I do. I don't have I'm ears. Why does it matter if it's actually him or not? I need to know if he's evil or not, and if we need to destroy him. I could have killed you both by now. You could have tried. I could have. Let's and I could have succeeded. Had... Let's see if Dio has anything to see. Okay. Uh, wait. If you have uh, detected good and evil. He has danger sense, would that help here? No. I think we'll finish up for the night, because it's almost seven. Alright. And, uh, next week... I guess... We'll see what happens. Party's gotta... Pretty find sure their way out. Arguing. Oh, uh, the next two weeks, guys, I'm working bingo, so just to let you know, I have to leave early again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome to the wonderful world of 
shorthanded for freaking Lions Club. But bingo must go on because it's their only source of revenue. Yay! Did you ever win that game? But bingo? Yes. Yeah, somebody won five grand two weeks ago. Damn! Well, this is your chance to advertise to absolutely nobody. Well, we can advertise to little my dog. He can travel here on a plane. No. <laughs> Come on, don't you want to meet your mm -hmm. old buddy old pals? I think I Anybody want to play time. internet bingo? <laughs> don't you want to win fabulous prizes at the gift shop? To, to be clear, mainly I don't want to meet, uh... Yeah, man, keep. What the fuck did I do? What? You're just the worst team, man. Hey! <laughs> Unlike you... Keegan, I understand why you don't want to go near me. Well, uh, yeah, I will, I will point out, Keegan.